Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're going to be looking at the Porta Cipher. Oh, yeah, the Porta Cipher. Uh, as you may know, it's a really popular cipher. Yeah, especially in like Codebusters competitions and stuff. Yeah, and uh, we're going to teach you how to decode a Porta Cipher in just about five minutes. Mm. All you need is the cipher text, yep. keyword, and the handy Porta Cipher table. Right. We'll provide those, so no need to worry. The Porta Cipher table might look intimidating at first glance, yeah. but it's really just a grid of letters okay. that helps us swap one letter for another based on our keyword. Okay. Here are the four simple steps to decoding a Porta Cipher. All right. First, we align our keyword with the cipher text letter by letter. Okay. okay. Then we use the keyword letter to find its row in the Porta table, uh -huh. which becomes our mini decoding table. Think of each row as a mini code book specific to that keyword letter. Exactly. Nice. Next, we find the cipher text letter in that row. Okay. And look at the column header above it to reveal the plain text letter. Gotcha. And finally, yeah. we repeat the process for each letter pair until the entire message is revealed. Makes sense. Sounds straightforward. So far, so good. Let's see it in action. There's no better way to learn than by doing. Right. Let's say we have the ciphertext QMJW. Okay. And our secret keyword is key. All right. First, we align them, Reading. repeating the keyword as needed to match the length. Uh huh. Now, to decode the first letter, Q, we need the keyword letter K. We locate the K row in our Porta table. That row becomes our decoder ring for all the letters paired with K. And within that row, we find our ciphertext letter Q. Mm -hmm. The column header above it reveals the letter L. Cool. That's our first decoded letter. Awesome. See? It's like a treasure hunt, but with letters. Next up, the ciphertext letter M is paired with the keyword letter E. Okay. So we find the E row on our Porta table. This gives us a new set of pairings. Right. A new decoder ring for the letter E. And look for M within that row. Mm -hmm. The column header above reveals the plain text letter O. Got it. We're building our decoded message one letter at a time. Now let's decode the remaining letters. Okay. For the pair J and Y. We find the Y row and the ciphertext letter J. Right. The column header reveals the plain text letter V. Right. And finally, for the pair W and K, we're back to the K row mm. where we find the plain text letter E above W. And there you have it. There it is. We've successfully transformed the ciphertext QMJW with the keyword key yeah. into the message love. See, I told you it was easy. And kind of romantic too, right? Yeah. Now, how about we try a slightly longer example? Okay. Okay, so first things first, uh, we need to align the keyword and ciphertext uh, porta is shorter than the message, so we repeat it to match the length. That's right. Now what? This feels a bit more challenging. Don't worry, just follow the same steps as before. Start with the first letter pair, O, and P, find the P row on the table. Okay, I see it. And the O in that row falls under the H column, so our first decoded letter is H. Perfect. Now move on to the second pair. Y and O find the O row on the table. All right, the O row is the OP row, and I see the Y there. It's in the E column so far, we have each E. I'm starting to see the message come together. You're doing great. Let's keep the momentum going. What do you have so far? Oh, wow. Well, this is actually pretty cool. Can we pause for a second so our listeners can try to decode the rest themselves? Absolutely. If you're listening, go ahead and pause the deep dive and see if you can crack the rest of the code. We'll be here when you get back. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to test your skills. Let's see how you did. We left off with hello. What comes next? Let's see. We were at the letter pair C and P. So I find the P row and locate the C. It's in the W column, so now we have hello. Excellent work. Keep going. Hello world. That's absolutely correct. You've officially decoded the Porta Cipher Hello World. It's a classic message often used in coding to signify a successful first step. So congratulations, you've taken your first step into the world of code breaking. Do you have any pro tips to help us really master the cipher, the little tricks of the trade? Absolutely. Here are a few tips that might give you an edge, especially in a timed competition like Codebusters. Firstly, remember how we align the keyword with the cipher text. Try decoding by keyword letter. What do you mean by that? Let's say your keyword is five letters long. Instead of going letter by letter through the ciphertext, start by decoding all the letters associated with the first keyword letter, then move on to the second keyword letter and decode the second, seventh, twelfth letters, and so on. This way, you're working through the message in chunks determined by the keyword. It can be a lot faster and less prone to errors. It would definitely make it easier to keep track of where you are in the decoding process. What's another tip? This next one is especially helpful when working with a team, divide and conquer. 
Each person can take responsibility for one keyword letter and decode all the corresponding ciphertext letters. This way you can work in parallel and speed up the process significantly. That makes so much sense. What about individual practice? Any advice for those of us flying solo? There are some fantastic online resources that can help you hone your skills. One that comes to mind is Sciolli.tools. Oh, yeah. They offer interactive port cipher puzzles and even printable versions for offline practice. You can try different keywords and really challenge yourself. That's a great tip. So to all our listeners out there, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep those brains working. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to invent the next unbreakable cipher. Or maybe you'll be the one to break it. The world of cryptography is full of possibilities. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the port cipher. We hope you learned something new and maybe even discovered a passion for code breaking. Until next time, happy decoding.